Hello everyone, welcome to Tesca Technologies Private Limited. My name is Ashim Dutta and today we are going to discuss about Swinburne's test of DC machine and its order code is 46602. So in this video, we are going to discuss the construction and the working of this Swinburne's test of DC machine trainer. So this is a Swinburne's test of DC machine. So here we are having the terminals where we can connect the external fixed DC supply of 200 volt so this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal here we can connect an external fixed dc supply of 200 volt and this is another section here we can connect the variable dc supply from 0 to 200 volt and here also we have to connect the variable dc power supply externally and we can provide voltage up to 0 to 200 volt then this is a dc emitter of range 0 to 5 ampere then this is another DC emitter of range 0 to 5 ampere and this is a DC voltmeter which ranges from 0 to 300 volt. Then these are the terminals provided for connecting a 3 point DC starter. So this is the L section, this is the F section and this is the A section. Then this is the main power on off switch. This is the rheostat section here we can connect an external rheostat. Then this is the DC motor section here we can connect the field windings and here we can connect the armature windings so these are the ports provided where we can do the connections externally and this is a dc shunt motor which will operate along with this trainer so here on the panel you will see the armature winding which is categorized as a1 and a2 terminal and this is the field winding which is categorized as f1 and f2 terminal and this DC shunt motor is having a pulley alignment. So here you can see the side view of this DC shunt motor. So here you can see the pulley system and these are the scales from where you can take the readings. So by using this pulley you can apply the load on this DC shunt motor. So by rotating these you can apply load according to the scale you are providing so you can take the readings from these scales and according to that you can apply the load and you can take the readings from here and that is how you can operate this motor along with this trainer Now we are going to perform an experiment on this trainer. So the experiment we are going to perform is to study and determine the losses of DC machine and correspondingly calculate the efficiency of DC machine by Swinburne's test method. So firstly we have to do the connections. So firstly we will connect this variac with this DC converter so we will connect so I am using this DC converter you can also use any variable DC power supply here so here I am using a variac which is providing the AC and I am doing the conversion from this DC converter so it is converting the AC directly into DC so you can use any DC power supply which can provide 0 to 200 volt DC so we have to connect that DC power supply here as here uh, external DC power supply is needed. So now I will connect this terminal with the positive terminal of the variable DC supply and now I will connect the negative terminal
so that's all the demonstration from my side if you have any query related to this trainer you can contact the tesca global website you can find the link in the description for more information go through the manual thank you for watching this video if you like this video like share and subscribe to our channel